All right. We are here today with Larry Gatlin and the Gatlin brothers. Larry, Steve, and Rudy. How are you guys today? We're wonderful. Great. Good. Good. I'm wonderful. Good to see you, <laughs> Good to see you guys. Lovely. Just windy lovely. Day. It is windy. Yeah, it is windy. You guys have a new CD out, new project. Tell me a little bit about it and uh, let me know. Right there you go. There you go. Great cover work. It's a project that's been in the making for, golly, how long? Two years? Three. Well, even before that, isn't this the project that Mike Curb wanted us to do in, four years ago in 07. Well, yeah, it's and then Johnny Cash's dad came along. And he said, no, let's do that project and put the gospel on hold for a while. A lot of kids have started in preschool and are now in high school. Yeah. Uh, the <laughs> These things, t first of all, we travel a lot. Mm -hmm. Thank God people still like to hear our music. So uh, if we could afford the luxury, like a lot of folks do, of saying, okay, let's take two months off and do the project. We could do that. So the bad news is we didn't have that opportunity. The good news is we were out singing songs for people. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, doing what we love to do. So it, it's been three and a half or four years that we've really kind of tried to put it all together. So, and we really, to be honest with you, we didn't know what we were doing exactly when we started this. We just wanted to go make some music. And like we said, a lot of things kind of came along. So you have to be willing to, to stop where you are, uh, turn around or turn sideways or to the right or left when things uh, present themselves. So uh, it, it has come out in its time. Well, part of the deal too is as Larry writes two or three songs and then three or four more, it wasn't like he wrote 10 or 12 songs and those are the 12 we picked. We kind of mm -hmm. have gone along and he's written some things along the way. So that's kind of, uh, that's kind of why we don't ever try to close an album out until we, uh, we don't just go in and say these are the ones we're gonna do. Sure. So it's taken us a little longer sure. to do it sure. than normal. So, and you brought up a good point. I was gonna ask you about the songwriting. Do you collaborate? Do you write? All by your, the three of you? Well, do you, you little well, bit? I, there are some collaborations on this. A couple, I think, with Bill Gaither. Uh, of course, the Amer American with the Remington with Billy Dean. Uh, I, I don't remember exactly which. I think the rest of them, except for uh, Greatly Blessed is on there, right? Or right. is it? No. No, it's not on there. We took that no. off. Uh, Doug Johnson, you wrote. Uh, oh, yeah. Doug and I wrote uh, the last one. Not before Remington. I'll think of it in just a second. Give me just a <laughs> the second. The last I'm one, an American with a Remington. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? <laughs> yeah. uh, right. Uh, and he gave me the idea the, uh, for the other one, uh, Little little White Church Bill. Uh, didn't know how to look. And then he gave me the idea for that. Then he said he didn't want to write it with me. Sorry. So I wrote it by myself, Doug. Nah, 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 nah. So that's just, like you say, our life is kind of that way. What what did we do yesterday? Okay, here we go. The here's, thing here's that's different phone. about this particular album, we've got an album that we did several years ago of the old standards, <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, Amazing Grace, uh, Victory in Jesus, Power in the Blood, those kind of things that we were raised in the Assembly of God Church singing. And we've got that. This is completely different in that it's all songs that Larry's written or or cold <laughs> written with other folks. And it has, it has an edge to it. It has a, a country feel. Uh, sometimes it has a little, it, it's just not church organ. It's, yeah, it ain't come to Jesus and be flat, right. if you know what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, it's, it's more like the music that we make every night on, on stage, if that, if that helps you. Yep. I went to That's Israel, true. I've been to Israel with Mike Huckabee on three different occasions. And as I walked and took the steps of where Jesus walked and Mike would explain to you know, the Lord Christ uh, hung out with fishermen, tax collectors, and ladies of the evening. You know, and I'm sure they weren't talking about uh, spiritual things. I'm sure they sat around the, the, the campfire eating fish and talked like guys. So mm -hmm. some of this is a little bit edgy. Uh, one of the songs about my recovery from drugs and booze, it starts out, I thought I was dancing till somebody stepped on my fingers. So like I say, it's not exactly, uh, like Steve says, amazing grace. That, that's good. It's real life. That's, yeah. that's yeah, what people want to hear. That's what people want to hear. Now, I know Charlie that? Daniels, uh, played a little bit on one song. How did that come about? Rudy kind of. Uh, well, I was listening to that song one day and I thought, man, that needs some hot Charlie Daniels fiddle. What, so, we, uh, on. what, what happened was uh, there was a, there was a 16 bar turnaround, instrumental in the middle of it, and eight of it was, uh, I forgot who played it, it was our band did too, hot, some very great hot guitar. And then there was a dobro, which was fine, but it's just, I, 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 I said something to Rudy and he didn't mention it to Larry. Dobro? Yeah, Dobro is great, but it's... Why didn't we just put bagpipes on it or something? Well, I thought, you know, Dobro reminds me of 
soft, subtle, you know, it's, it's just hard to do. And I, was, I just heard Charlie Daniels. So we, we called Charlie and asked if he would graciously uh, I mean, come play, and he graciously did play did eight you bars. Just, you just didn't think the dobro worked out. <laughs> but it didn't. Well, I didn't want it, it just, it, it just well, I was going to say, I was going to say, dobro needs to be played on a Don Williams record, which is fine. It's just, it's mellow and. What do you have against Don Williams? Nothing. I like Don Williams. He's coming over to the house tonight for dinner. See, that's kind of a metaphor for our lives. <laughs> You're wondering why the album took 10 years to do? This is it. This is it. T everything anyway, takes off a lot of conversation. Guitar, he played, Charlie played some Devil Went Down to Georgia, kind of raging, Cajun, I know it's Doug Kershaw, Southern. but Southern fiddle. fiddle. And it worked. It works great. Back so, to you awesome. in the booth, Kurt. Awesome. But he is a special <laughs> guest star on the, the CD. Like, and a great guy. And a great guy. And a great American. Yes, you awesome. follow following the battle, by the way. And you also have a song featuring the Gaither Brothers, or Gaither... Vocal band. Vocal band, I'm sorry. Okay, let's start that. Gaither. <laughs> Vocal. Gaither. Oh, Gaither. Gaither. Yeah, not Gaither. Gaither. I didn't say Gaither. I yeah. said Gaither. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, yeah, we did a little edit there, I'm sure. Um, Bill Gaither is a dear friend of mine, and, and he and Gloria, you know, they were uh, named the songwriters of the century. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty good. Well, that's they've, written, they've years. written some classic gospel songs. So, shackled by a heavy burden. You know, they wrote that one. I would have written that one if I'd known the words. Mm -hmm. And they're all in the dictionary. But I asked Bill to help me with a couple of things. We, so, uh, a great... Great joy of mine to get to, to hang out and write songs with my friend Bill Gay. So uh, that's a neat deal. And actually, uh, clean. that's Clean. Clean is on the record, which the vocal band uh, does with us. Yeah, the, the other one all the, uh, sounds too much like All the Gold in California, mm -hmm. the, our record company thought. And they were afraid they'd have trouble uh, clearing the publishing. Oh. Yeah, and I said, so you think I'm going to sue myself? It's a long story, but we left that one <laughs> off the record. So go get the Gaither Vocal Band record of it. It and was a song of the year a couple of years ago in gospel music, so that's a good thing. That's awesome. Well, I know you guys also are busy with Christmas coming up, and you're going to be doing some stuff out at Opryland. Can you tell everybody November about November 20th that? through December 26th is a, about a 45-day period. I hadn't really counted. We do 30 shows in that length of time. Dinner at five, we work at six. There's three days. Dinner at five? Yes. <laughs> Goodness. You need to get dressed. I know. Um, it, it, we do, a, a, dinner's an hour, and then we do 60 to 65 minutes, which we, the first 15 or 20, we'll do four or five of our hits, and then we'll right into to Christmas, which I, I want folks to know it is secular as well as Christian. It is, uh, that's, we are Christians, and so we sing, we sing Winter Wonderland, but then we go right into, uh, Songs about the baby, about Jesus' birth. So that's you mean you're not going to let the people who are, have the war on Christmas and want to take Christmas trees down and all that? You're not going to let that happen. Well, they're welcome to come, but they're going to get they're going to get, Christmas <laughs> they're going to get <laughs> Jesus in the manger. They're not going to get. That's what I'm talking we about. We don't sing Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays. <laughs> happy holidays. <laughs> no. Okay. So once you're done with this, um, will you go back out and tour, promote this new album, or what's your plans once all the Christmas stuff's done? We have right, right now, we're going we're, we're to work 2016, and what we call it is on a limited basis. We're going to work somewhere between five and 50 dates. We don't, we don't go out and block a time. We basically try to work every other weekend. It's kind of a ballpark figure. We've got four or five days in January, a couple in one or two in February, then five or six in March. So it kind of, and right now there's only two in the summer. Who knows what's going to basically happen. Larry does a lot of work on his own. Mm -hmm. uh, Rudy and I worked uh, you know, together uh, as the Gatlin brothers, Steve and Rudy, on some dates. So we have some various things going on that keep us from touring as much. And one of the great things about it, we toured many years ago, 200 days a year, and that was fine, but it, 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 it beat us up. And now we want to make music, but we want to make music when we want to make it on a much more limited basis. So you can find us in 2016. Something that's interesting, and I want to capitalize, I've never, I'll say this publicly, I've never told the brothers, one of the things I want, we have people come to see us all the time and say, you're singing better than ever. I heard you so forth, and you and you're, you're better tonight than you were then, which is a, a, a left-handed compliment, kind of like sure, you, you want to go, what, what do you mean? mean? Yeah. What do you but, mean, sir? But the whole point is, we're very blessed. and We do sound good. We play good, we sing good, and we still got our ears. We're very thankful for that. And I think we're singing and playing as good as any. It's like, it's like catch us while you can. We're better than ever. So come see the Gallon Brothers. And we're old. You don't know how long that we can we'll be able to say that. Interesting <laughs> that you live there. There is not another act that I can think of in show business. 60 years. Next year we'll start 61 that has the original members in it. 
That, that's the key word right there, original members. The Lennon sisters are also celebrating their 60th year. Right. There are four of them. However, however, however two of the girls are retired. Big, however, and Mimi, their baby sisters, worked with them the last 15 or 20 years. That's the dear closest. Friends, yes, they are. That's the closest I can think. But we are still, uh, I started, we started when I was five. Larry was two four, girls, four. Larry was about six, almost seven, reduced two and a half. And we started in Abilene, Texas many years ago. And we've. We've been at it a long time, 41 years way, in Nashville. The Lennon sisters still sound. They sure do. In fact, they're sounding more like the Gatlin brothers. They do. That's I'm just <laughs> one of them. They're dear friends of ours, and you can't sing better harmony than they do, but we're tied with them. That's awesome. Well, talking about harmony, is there anybody that you have not collaborated with that you still have on your little pinnacle board that you want to collaborate you know, that's with a and good, sing? I'll never. That's a good question. I'd like to sing. I'd like to get with Little Big Town. Oh, I would love to see that. I, I would love to see that. Or, or, because they have told us they listen to their music, uh, the, the, the kids, uh, the, the band Perry. Mm -hmm. uh, they said they listened to us sing when they were, when they were kids, you know, uh, uh, right here in this building at the BMI Awards a couple of years ago, the young lady, uh, tell me her name. The young lady. The young lady, uh, Perry woman, girl. Kimberly. 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 Boy, she is a singing machine. Yeah. And, and the boys, so they said, uh, uh, the Doobie Brothers. I'd like to sing with the. How about with the Doobie Brothers? Yeah, interest, Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, would too. She came from somewhere out of the room. You know, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, Lady Annabelle. I'd like to get together with some of the groups so? and sing. You know, a bunch. Well, that could be the next project. There you go. There you I'll go. Start working Do you on think that. you think their managers are going to let them hang out with us? Over you can add that to your list of ten or twelve things you have to do. Yeah, <laughs> it's what we've been talking about. A tribute album. Kind of, let them. So we're going to get put pay together our own tri pay tribute to us. Yes. Okay. Hey. We think. Come on, but <laughs> hey, I guarantee you, they would love to probably come sing one of their favorite. We've talked about this before mm -hmm. because every time we turn around, who was? I mean, uh, Big and Rich. Uh, they, you know, Toby Keith listens to our. You know, because we've known Toby a hundred years. There are other country music artists that have, man, I love, I, I just wish you were someone I love. I don't know the time, Penny Annie. They just start naming the song. Okay, there you, you want to come do it with us? All right. There you go, yeah. there we go. Think, it's out there would, now. That would be wonderful. That Everybody else awesome. has done it. Willie and Roger. So set up Merle and, and Willie. Yeah. I like that. Or so, a duet, or what do you want to, whatever you want to name it, it doesn't matter, call it. Get them, yeah, come. And we want y'all to your come. your favorite song with uh, We want y'all to come pay tribute to us and tell us how great we are. I like it, Rudy. <laughs> it has a ring to it. Absolutely. All right, we got to get to the studio now and get started on this. All right, all right. Stuff. Well, it's been great talking to you guys. <laughs> like, Everybody needs to me. go out and get this new album first it before was, they start was. putting out another one and go see the Christmas show. Anything else that you guys want to add before we say goodbye? Well, no, all right. Right. Well, the new song, we have a new record called I'm an American with a Remington. Uh, and after the events of the last three or four days, the last fortnight, as they would say, in Paris and other places, uh, <clears throat> Stephen Rudy and I kind of think it's time for people to wake up. Uh, songs mean things. Music is important. Words have meaning. Mm -hmm. So uh, Billy Dean and I wrote this song called, I'm an American with a room. It's not a threat to anybody. It just means that we think America needs to wake up and realize that there are bad guys out there and uh, we need to be prepared. Mm -hmm. So uh, that. Except for, I guess, that, and if I had that and maybe a, a Diet Coke, I'd be pretty happy. Yeah, yeah, maybe a chicken fried, you know. Chicken uh, fried steak? Yeah, chicken okay. fried steak. That's, that'd be, All that'd right, do it. we'll do it. Thank, Thank you, guys. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. <laughs> All right. That is the golf.